Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. I'm going to go ahead and dive in and see what you need to know for this upcoming week. Pull on your energy and see what the message is from spirit. Okay, so Taurus, thank you so much for your like, share, subscribe. It's all you do for my channel. I do appreciate you and I'm sending love to you tenfold, okay? So we're going to go ahead and dive in and see what you need to know. Alrighty, so please feel free to take what resonates. If this does not resonate, it's okay. It's just not your message. You can come back and join us another time, okay? Alright, so let's see. What does Taurus need to know, Spirit? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Ancestors, all divine beings of the spirit realm, all gods and goddesses of the highest forms of the highest of light, please tap into Taurus Collective and provide clear, intuitive messages for Taurus. All right, what does Taurus need to know at this time, Spirit? Okay, so you guys are in the process of creating. Okay, so I'm here in creating from conflict, okay? So there may have been some conflict or some chaos, but I'm seeing that you are now in this creator's energy where you are manifesting everything that you want. You've gone through a transformation and you're putting everything that you've learned from that into your into your craft, okay? Or into your manifestation. Some of you guys may be uh, going to counseling or you may be seeking guidance, whether from a friend, a counselor, or from anything, like anything that you could be seeking guidance from, okay? You could be seeking guidance at this time. Or maybe you are a counselor, some spiritual type of counselor. But I'm also saying you have a deep knowing, you trust your intuition. And this is helping your manifestations come your way quicker. Okay. I'm seeing heavy throat chakra energy, heavy uh, crown chakra energy. You guys are looking good with your throat chakra. So I'm seeing somebody that communicates some sort of truth of a deep knowing that they have. You may, if you're not communicating something that you've learned, you are just living in your authentic truth, okay? Yeah, you guys are definitely in your power. You are finishing off cycles with the number nine here. You are about to go into a new beginning, okay? And it could be a little overwhelming. It could be a little stressful. So you're definitely gaining the inner strength that you need to move to the next stage in your creation. That looks really good for you, Taurus. Let's get some more. This might be a quicker reading because I have to travel today. Okay, so I'm seeing 251 on the timer and 256. That could be important to you. Yeah, you guys could be creating true love, like a connection could be coming in or you're manifesting true love. What is this? The Tower Spirit. There may have been some um, third-party influences regarding a connection in the past for you. Somebody that got in the way of a connection. Uh, somebody could have had a lot of unhealthy attachments. This could have been somebody that made you wait. Or, let's see. Let's get one more. Yeah, this could be somebody that you could have bittersweet memories about. This is somebody that could be dwelling on the past and reminiscing, or you're dwelling on the past and reminiscing about this person. But there was a cycle that was uh, closed out, okay? For some of you, the cycle could still be open, and somebody could be waiting for you to return. But this person was wearing a mask, okay? Somebody was pretending they were wearing a mask. This person really pushed you to the breaking point. Breaking point. I can't talk, okay? Somebody pushed you to the breaking point and oh, they may have found something out online or you found something out online and that was the final straw with whoever this was, okay? So now you're in the stage of hoping, of manifesting everything that you want, having faith. Alrighty. Yep. Let's see. Let's see what this energy is about for you. Let's get a little bit more for Taurus. This 
this early where I'm at Tara. So if I'm a little, I seem a little, my energy is a little dry. It's because I don't know why I'm just real tired this morning. Oh, I quit coffee. So I'm trying to make it through that, okay? But anyway, somebody was painting a false narrative. This is somebody that was gossiping and, you know, they were just being false. What is this faith in reverse? So you could have lost faith in the connection because of this false narrative. Oh, we got two here. Yeah. You're unbothered and it's surprising somebody, okay? Because somebody's facing bad karma. Because you let go of conflict with whoever this is. This karmic masculine. So somebody is facing bad karma. Let's see what this is about. Let's go ahead and tap into this energy and see what this is about. Let's clarify, okay? So we have influences in reverse. So let's see why we have this. influences in reverse hmm. let's go with create let's start here what's create spirit what is what is um Taurus creating there could also be a water sign manifesting you or you can have water in your chart as well somebody may want you to come back around or somebody may try to come back around uh, a water sign. This person has ill intentions, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Somebody has ill intentions towards you. Spirit is asking you to make sure you keep your guard up, okay? You're close to something and you've done a lot of work and Spirit doesn't want you to jeopardize all the changes you've made. Okay, like I said, this is somebody who listens to their friends or their family. They could have kept a third party or some sort of attachment, okay? What is this influences in reverse? What's this influences in reverse? What's the nine of wands? Okay, so this is somebody that wants to set up a, uh, a boundary now, okay? They don't want to reconcile with somebody from their past. They want to move forward. They feel like something was a bad investment. This could be you too. I'm getting more of your energy. So you freed yourself from people who tried to make you a third party. People with unhealthy attachments. And you put up your guard, okay? You decided not to reconcile with certain people. You felt like certain people was a bad investment, okay? So you did decide to move forward. Let's see. What is this waiting in cycles and moments? What's this waiting in cycles and moments, spirit? Okay, so yeah, you have you closed out a cycle and decided to head towards wish fulfillment. Okay, you did detach. Sorry if you hear some noise in the background, guys. Okay, but you decided to like just let go of somebody. You started focusing on yourself and your wish fulfillment, and you decided to detach. I'm also saying you're in that Queen of Pentacles energy. You're somebody that's all about their business, all about their, if you have children, you're all about your children. You're all about your manifestations, your birth in something that you can actually hold on to, okay? You're working on your material, uh, your material wealth at this time. Somebody's overburdened now, okay? Because you found inner peace and decided to move forward. This person has a lot of conflict and a lot of fighting going on in their life with the people that they care about. But you don't have time for it, Taurus. Let's see. What's this memories in reverse? What is this memories in reverse? Okay. Yeah, you could be reminiscing about this person or just the connection that you two shared. Okay, this is what this could have been a bittersweet connection. 
but it was very toxic like i said it was a lot of addiction somebody had a third party somebody may have even had a sex addiction some sort of codependency issues okay and i'm saying this is why you detach from this toxic energy capricorn energy you detach from this person Ooh, this fell out let me see i'm not gonna take it Mm. Let me see. I'm going to see if it comes out. If it comes out again, I'll take it. But yeah, you detach from this connection. This From this Knight of Wands, this Leo Aries Sagittarius, somebody that was just a playboy, okay? Or playgirl. This is somebody that wanted to run into a situation because they were, you know, attracted to somebody, but. Somebody went in and ran towards the Queen of Cups, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And now they're facing bad karma. This is somebody that is overbearing, just toxic. And now this person may even be going to court because they have children or whoever this is or was married to somebody. And I'm getting, they're stuck. They're unhappy. Somebody's unhappy because they're getting karmic justice for what they did, whatever they did. Okay, with the seven of swords, they were deceitful to you in the past. And this person may want to come back around and try again, but they were keeping secrets and they may still be keeping secrets. Yeah, this page of cup has a, a offer that comes with, this offer comes with more than it appears to. Somebody has a lot of money problems. Somebody could have their sexual health compromised as well with the ace of wands in reverse. Okay, but your luck is improving now that you've walked away from this person, I'm saying. Okay, you're building uh, solid foundations for yourself. So, let's see. What is this false narrative? So, there could have been a queen of pentacles. I'm getting gold digger energy. Somebody could have been uh, spreading gossip or a false narrative about you. This is somebody that... And this queen of pentacles, I'm getting... I don't know why I'm getting prostitute energy. Somebody is just not, I don't know. Somebody makes their money in a funny way, okay? This is the energy I feel. What else? Yeah, I'm seeing that there is somebody that wants to move on from this energy. I'm getting strong cancer energy. Somebody wants to move forward. Somebody wants to trust the universe and just let this Queen of Pentacles go. All right. Let's see. What else? Yep. Somebody has ill intentions. Okay. They found out they went towards something that where this Queen of Pentacles had ill intentions. And now they're feeling hopeless. Okay. They're feeling hopeless. They want to make a choice to come towards you, Taurus. You're in this Queen of Swords energy, though. You're just. You're guarded and you're protecting yourself, okay? You've already healed from this and you, you you know this person is stuck somewhere, okay? They're stuck in something else. So I'm getting this person wants to try to come around and express how they feel about you. They want to communicate that they have feelings for you. They want to express themselves. <clears throat> they want to tell you that they moved on from someone else. But I'm also seeing that for some of you guys, you may even be getting into a new connection. There may be new romance, okay? So, I mean, you could be pregnant as well. Or, like I said, just birthing something that you really want to manifest. So, what is, let's see. What is faith in reverse? It's all this hopeless energy, okay? Somebody is losing faith in a marriage. This person wants to get a divorce or separate. They feel like you were a blessing in their life, Taurus. Okay, they feel like they're very passionate and attracted to you. Somebody, for some of you, you could have had a family with this person. And for others of you, this person desires you, okay? They feel like they could have had the Ten of Pentacles with you. This is somebody that doesn't want to be a player anymore, okay? And this is surprising someone that they feel that way about you. They're constantly thinking about the future, All right, so what else? What is unbothered? Yeah, you're unbothered. 
You're unbothered at this time, uh, Taurus. This is your energy. Somebody may have to pay this Queen of Cups some sort of support, but they don't care. They got some sort of bad news, and they're letting go of any grief and any sadness they had towards this person, okay? Somebody might feel stuck like they can't move forward. Or they might feel stagnant. Can I get one more? Let's see. And yeah, somebody is starting to see, like, the lies, okay? The, the lies are being exposed. This Queen of Cups was lying to somebody, and now their lies are coming out. Somebody may have been paying this Queen of Cups money, okay? I'm saying somebody could be facing jail time as well. Or they could be stuck in something, like I said, stuck in another connection that they don't really want to be in. They want to let go. This person's losing a lot of money. Since they reconciled with someone. All right. So what is meanwhile you're unbothered? Okay, you're fin You're you're close to a new beginning. You're about to start something new. What a surprise! When you found out this information, this could have surprised you. But then you saw that somebody was unwilling to learn from their karmic ways. Okay, this is somebody that. Didn't want to change. Scorpio energy. So you decided to move on, okay? Yeah, you moved on. Some of you guys may be traveling or you just moved forward. Some of you could have moved out of state. But this surprised this person. This surprised this person from your past. Now this person is insecure. Somebody may, like I said, this person could be involved with somebody that they had a past with as well. This person is insecure because you've healed. They're surprised that you heal and don't want to reconcile with them. Maybe you see this person as stuck and stagnant, okay? But they see you as a blessing, Taurus. They don't love whoever they're with. They want to come in towards you. And give to you, okay? They do want to give to you, but this person is facing a lot of bad karma from, like, external forces. A lot of fears and anxiety. A lot of grief, okay? This person has a lot going on, whoever this is, in your energy. Well, let's see. What can Taurus... Like, what is this person's intentions towards Taurus? Like, what is their intentions... What is this person's intentions? Okay, so this person's intentions with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, they want to, let's see, let me clarify. What's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse for the intentions? Somebody wants to move forward from a bad investment with the Empress, another Taurus that they could have been dealing with in reverse. Somebody wants to move forward. Uh, forward. <laughs> Somebody wants to move forward from this. They know they made a bad investment, possibly getting someone else pregnant. They could have even found out some news that the, a child wasn't theirs with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Somebody feels stagnant and stuck. Okay, what is this person's feelings towards you, Taurus? This person's feelings, the Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands? Is this person's feelings? What's the Knight of Wands is this person's feelings? What's the Knight of Wands is this person's feelings? What's the Knight of Wands? So this person feels like they're very passionate about you, but this is a knight. Somebody that is in and out and thinks with their wand, okay? This person feels passionate about you. They desire you, but they also feel like you got the money, okay? You are somebody that is very given. You're somebody that's very given. You're somebody that helps them out financially. You're somebody that has a lot of abundance. And they feel like they could build a business with you. Like they feel... Here, I want to clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Because we have also here the Knight of Cups in reverse. 
this person would stop being a player. They don't want to. They don't want to play around anymore. Okay, they they do want to leave their player ways behind. But let's see, why the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles for this person's feelings? So someone knows they made a bad a bad decision, going running towards lust, and now they're just leaving this connection or leaving a marriage where there's a lot of uh, karma, a lot of bad things going on. Okay, somebody's having money problems, so somebody feels like they want a new start with you, but they also know you might see them as a bad investment. All right, so let's let's get more, get a little more. Of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody was involved with a gold digger, it looks like, or somebody that was very materialistic and money hungry. And somebody was somebody was very materialistic. Sorry guys. But somebody was very materialistic. I'm seeing gold digger energy. Trying to keep up with the Joneses. Yeah. This is somebody that was just stingy and greedy too. I'm seeing that your luck is improving with your finances, Taurus. I don't know why I get that you were dealing with another like earth sign. Like somebody has earth in their chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, I'm seeing that you just don't want to reconcile this person anymore. You really don't want to reconcile with whoever this is. You really don't want to reconcile. Okay, so I'm seeing that some of you guys may be getting some communication about your finances, some good communication. Some of you may be going back to school or you could be reading more books. You could also be learning new things at this time, okay? So there may be a good financial opportunity that will present itself to you and you're going to get some sort of happy news about your career. Some of you could get a promotion or a scholarship if you're going back to school. And I'm saying a new area of study, okay? Definitely a new area of study. Well, for some of you, just get some new information. What is this page? Yeah, whatever this is, you're going to have uh, balance to your finances. You guys may be working hard or working multiple jobs or working uh, uh, extra hours. But I'm seeing that Spirit is asking you to bring some balance and fun into your life. If you are juggling multiple priorities, okay, Spirit is asking you to balance with a budget. I'm also seeing this is somebody that may have juggled you with a family that they had for themselves okay cancer scorpio pisces somebody is really in an unhappy marriage or an unhappy connection because of children but i'm seeing with the number 10 out here this is the end of this okay this is the end of a situation it's going to bring relief you may even feel sadness as well but the opportunity for new happiness is coming into your life okay there's a weight that's about to be lifted off your shoulders tars for some of you, this is the end of an addiction, whether from you or this person. And somebody is definitely experiencing karma. Like, they're having a lot of imbalances due to some insecurities they have. This person could be um, in trouble with, like, they could be having financial issues with the government or just be, becoming bankrupt, okay? Somebody, somebody went into a, somebody took a bad opportunity. Somebody went towards something, got someone pregnant, and there could be a son involved. But somebody did something reckless. And there's some secrets being kept now, okay? Some secrets that broke someone's heart. Maybe someone found out this child was not theirs, but the son in reverse. 
Yeah. Somebody could be learning this at this time. And it could be triggering a transformation when it comes to love. And somebody may come towards you and not want to close out a cycle. But for you, Taurus, I see that you are learning a lot about a subject or a career at this time. Some of you guys, like I said, you're going back to school. You could be taking a seminar or finding a mentor. You're definitely paying attention to detail or whatever it is that you do for a living. You're skilled at it. You guys are definitely transforming, transforming, making powerful changes. You could be having unexpected revelations, but I see that you're breaking free of any procrastination, okay? You're releasing old belief systems as well. With the lovers out here, you could be embracing true love or intimate friendships, okay? I'm, I'm getting you're going to have deep, true love. Heart chakra is wide open. Gemini energy. Spirit wants you to make a choice from your heart, okay? But there is going to be good health. Like, I see that you're going to have some vibrant health or you may be recovering at this time from an illness. So, that looks good for you. There's going to be doors open that will not close when it comes to love. Right, let's get a little more. I don't want this video to be too long because I gotta get ready to hit the road and drive for a few hours. Let's see. What else does Taurus need to know? Yeah, you're releasing things, okay? You're releasing people and things and situations that don't serve you. Could be a Scorpio that you're releasing, but I'm seeing that. You're letting things go and you're starting over, okay? I'm getting a purging energy. You are definitely purging. You're starting something new. You just ended something. You're going towards something new. A transformation. I'm here in revolution, okay? You guys are becoming liberated from your pain. You know? Yeah, you're headed in the right direction, okay? Somebody is definitely stuck in an illusion, though. They're facing a lot of delays. Scorpio energy. This King of Cups showing up here. Pisces, Aries. I'm also seeing show up. There's a King of Cups. Let's see what this King of Cups is. What is this King of Cups showing up here for Taurus? What's this King of Cups? This King of Cups might, you make this person's heart chakra wide open, okay? This is what I'm hearing. Or you're in this King of Cups where you have emotional balance, emotional intelligence. You guys are philanthropists or you may be a, a, somebody that's a leader or an artist. But you guys do have strong... Uh, control over your emotions at this time, okay? Somebody definitely is exhausted. They have a lot of pressure on their shoulder. With the Ten of Wands, if this is you, just know that things are about to start getting easier since it is the number 10. But whoever this is, I'm getting this is a stingy energy. Somebody that was stingy with you, they have a lot of burdens. Possibly this King of Cups. Okay. Somebody is manifesting you back into their life. They could be holding back how they feel. This person thinks about you a lot, but this is a page of wands in reverse, okay? Somebody might have gotten bad news about their sexual uh, health. This is somebody that may have gave to a lot of people, and now they're feeling trapped and stuck because they're realizing they're in love with you. They're in love with you, okay? So for you, Taurus, I see that you guys are in the power, like you're in the process of creating. You're in your power. You guys are mastering something at this time, self-mastery. You're manifesting your plans, your ideas, okay? You're getting everything ready for your new beginning. Crown chakra energy is beautiful. What else? Yeah, some of you guys... Um, 
some of you guys are manifesting um, something new. Like, let's see. Some of you guys are manifesting something new. But there also could be a page of wands that's manifesting a future with you. <coughs> An Aries, possibly. Somebody could want marriage. They could see you as this queen of wands. Somebody that is traditional. Okay, somebody could see you as beautiful, um, abundant, confident. Somebody virtuous, okay? This person sees you as strong-willed as well and down to earth. Somebody wants a new beginning with you or they see you going into a new beginning where you're going to have unlimited potential. And they feel like that you guys are a match. This empress out here. Ooh. Yeah. Let's see. Let's let's clarify. I'm going to clarify some of this energy. What is this King of Wands showing up here? What's this King of Wands? Who is this person? Okay, so the Ace of Wands. This is the yeah. This is somebody from the past that sees your luck improving or their finances might be getting better. But this person feels hopeless because they're having bad karma. But this King of Wands sees you in this visionary energy, and they feel like they're they're your match. Okay, this person wants to marry you. I'm seeing that. If this is not the, your masculine, then I'm seeing that you are embodying the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Okay, you have balance. Like you're, you have balance of your feminine and masculine energies, and you're somebody that is a, a visionary. You're honest. You have a purpose that's meant to inspire people and create. You guys are good at communication as well. Okay, so you could be manifesting something big towards your life purpose, new beginnings. Also, divine connections with others. That looks good. Let's get a little more, okay? Hmm, let me use this deck. What else? Yeah, you could have been dealing with a cancer for some of you that didn't want to take accountability. They didn't want to change. Let's see. Okay, or somebody in your energy was dealing with the cancer. Let's see. Okay, so protection. You guys are definitely protected. You're protected at this time. Your financial stability and security is protected. You're just protected. A lot of protection. I also see that you guys are creating healthy habits for yourself as well. You're getting in the habit of making healthy habits. That can better your life. Let's see. Making healthy habits. What else? With 0707, I see compromise, okay? And you starting over. So you have self-awareness. Somebody may want forgiveness. Let go of what no longer serves you. Stop holding on to grudges. Express your emotions and aim towards a compromise. Where there's a lack of understanding, it's best to just move on. The truth will set you free, okay? So, yeah, some of you guys are just moving forward. You're starting fresh. Uh, step out of your comfort zone. You are about to create something meaningful. So, whatever you're creating, this is something meaningful. All your skills and your talents will bring you auspicious profits, okay? So, build up your confidence and trust in your decisions. You guys are being asked to... Trust in your decisions at this time, okay? Trust in your confidence because whatever it is that you are building is going to be good. I'm saying that some of you guys are going to get true love at the bottom of the deck. You're building up true love. You're creating true love or you could be manifesting true love. But guess what? True love is coming. <laughs> Let's see what else for Taurus. Heart guardian, okay? Love and let yourself be loved. So some of you guys need to let yourself be loved at this time. I see that some of you are clearing out debts. It says your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic, okay? 
and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. Some of you guys are meant to speak some sort of truth. You could be a speaker. And your gifts of oration. If I can pick this card up. Your gifts of oration is needed in this world. <clears throat> you could be a healer as well. Let's see. Let me shuffle these. What else? We have the rabbit out here. I'm seeing strong rabbit energy. Uh, Spirit wants you to recognize your significance. Like you guys are significant. So Spirit wants you to recognize that about yourself. What else for Taurus? We have a shapeshifter here. Spirit wants you to transform and unveil your gifts at this time. Okay, you guys are shapeshifters. You can shapeshift through your pain and expose your gifts. Okay, so definitely keep going with that. You're shifting pain and you're transforming that pain into using your purpose gifts, like your soul's purpose. Okay. I see that you guys are spreading messages of peace and harmony with the dove out here. Yeah, you're maybe you're meant to do something where you spread like peace to this world through your gifts of oration for some of you. You can have a channel or you could just be in the process of just speaking your truth, okay? Being authentic. And this is going to surprise a lot of people. A lot of people may even gossip about it, but who cares? <laughs> so, Taurus, this week I see that you are releasing a lot of anger. If you had any anger about any expectations being met, all right, you're releasing that. You guys may expect some special treatment without earning it, but Spirit says be grateful for what you have at this time, okay? You guys are, you may have gotten clarity about something in the past, something that definitely hurt you emotionally but i see that it's bringing your shadows to the surface so you can heal them okay so you are definitely grateful what you for i've seen that you're working on being grateful for what you have at this time all righty especially from somebody that was very manipulative okay somebody who may have manipulated you and caused a lot of oppositions in your life Some of you guys may have a lot of shame and guilt, though, okay? Spirit wants you to feel this without judging yourself or criticizing yourself, okay? Mistakes don't define your worth. You guys have a lot more worth than your mistakes. Your mistakes are meant to form you and, and transform you and change you. You are not your mistakes. Some of you guys could be doing breath work. Evidence of spirit, okay? You may get some evidence that things are working out for you. Some of you guys could be getting approved for a new home. Um, or you may get some sort of new love coming to your life. Yeah, some of you guys are going to get married. Like I'm saying, an engagement ring. I don't know if you guys can see it. But some of you guys are going to get married. Or you may even receive some type of dream or some sort of gift. There's something that you could be getting evidence of that spirit exists okay even if you already believe that you're going to have the evidence you're going to have the evidence so yeah some of you guys are going to get to travel somewhere really nice but there's there's a lot of good things coming for you sorry it's a lot i'm here for it i'm so here for it i don't know why i'm hearing that song Sex with you is so amazing. Oh, sex with me. I forget. Rihanna. So she's a Pisces. So some of you guys could be dealing with Pisces or a Pisces that you like having sex with. I don't know. Or does Pisces like having sex with you? Uh, it says comparing yourself to others keeps you stuck in a cycle of guilt and shame and continues to separate you from your blessings, okay? It keeps you small. Understand that everyone has their own journey, which always unfolds in divine timing. Your time will come. So don't compare yourself to anybody else because you are, you are the it. 
Like you are the it girl, the it guy. You got it going on. Don't compare yourself to anybody else, Taurus. All right. So we are always speaking to you and sending you messages. So the universe and your ancestors, spirit guys, are telling you that they're always speaking to you and sending you messages. Okay. When you feel like you are alone in a situation, just know that you truly are never alone. They are reminding you to stop, look around, and believe in something else, something more, okay? The universe got your back. It says, love yourself more by saying no to things that feel draining and burdening for you. Saying no when you want to say no instead of saying yes to please other people is a real act of self-love. So some of you guys need to tell people no. You need to tell people no. Okay? If you didn't get something you really wanted at this time, if you feel stuck or feel like things are not going according to your plans, know that something bigger and better is coming. It's something filled with divine magic that couldn't come into your life if you were to receive what you were asking for now. Alrighty? And my cat is crying, so I'm going to take that as confirmation that you have good things coming into your life, Taurus, okay? So, yeah, keep it up, all right? Keep creating what you want, and I will be here for it. I would love to see what you guys are creating, okay? But anyway, this has been your message. If you do uh, resonate with the message, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or just connect with me through the comments and let me know that you guys are here. And I will talk to you guys later. Be safe, Taurus. Love you. Bye.